You know that feeling you get when you upgrade your tech to the newest thing and it almost feels like more of a downgrade? Yeah, that's how I felt when I switched from the 2015 MacBook Pro to the 2017. Sure, it gained some power and lost some weight, but it also lost a lot of ports that I needed. And the battery life has been a wash. If you're in the same boat and switching to PC is just not in the cards, well, I've found some accessories that can help. I'm Mr. Mobile, and this is your MacBook Survival Kit for 2018, brought to you by Squarespace. Up first, an accessory I use every single day, the hyperdrive. The first time I saw this was in 2016, and I knew I had to have it, even if it cost me almost a Benjamin, which it did. The good? It's small enough to disappear into a bag pouch, it restores all the ports and slots from the 2015 that I need, and it's much more elegant than the Apple dongles. It's also got an LED to let you know it's connected. I like lights. The bad? It's hard to keep it connected unless it's stationary on a tabletop. Moving the computer can easily jog it loose. And for some reason, ejecting SD cards doesn't always work, so you need to force eject, which doesn't seem to hurt anything, but it's still annoying. So why is the hyperdrive still number one on my list? Well, a lot of companies have made variations on this product, and most seem to work better than mine. Andrew Martinick over at Android Central uses a smaller verbatim branded dock that he says works perfectly. So I'll drop links to that and to mine in the description, where you'll also find links for all these products, by the way. If you still want the ports and you're also the type who carries a laptop in a sleeve, check out Dock Case. This is another successful Kickstarter gone mainstream, and it takes the form of a big envelope made of synthetic leather. On its edge is an aluminum rail that includes all the ports we just saw on the hyperdrive, plus an extra USB-A and an Ethernet jack. The idea here is that you lay your MacBook on top while you're working, and a dedicated cable makes the connection to the port rail. On the plus side, the case is thoughtfully designed with a magnetic closure on the flap, some okay-looking stitching, and a little sleeve for the connector cable. On the downside, there's no mechanism that keeps the sleeve rigid, so the laptop sits at a slight angle. Also, you can't really charge your phone via the dock ports because of low output, and uh, Tweaktown reports inconsistent data throughput as well. That's a significant letdown, especially for the list price of this thing. The dock case did send over a code so that you can get a discount if you do want to order this. I'll throw it in the description as well. My favorite thing Apple ever brought to the laptop was MagSafe, the breakaway magnetic connector that saved my MacBooks from countless careless falls over the years. Well, that's a feature Apple ditched with the switch to USB-C, but there is a way to get it back. Basus, or Dreamvasion is the best reviewed company I could find on Amazon making magnetic USB-C adapters. The good? It's dead simple. You plug one side into the charging port, you snap the other side onto your cable, and boom, magnetic charging. It pops off if you trip on the wire. The bad? It's not omnidirectional, so you need to decide which direction you want the cable facing when you install the computer side jack. And removing that jack to realign it can be uh, tricky. For all the complaining I've done about the ports on the new MacBook, they do enable a convenience for those times you can't find an outlet. You can charge your laptop with a battery pack, as long as it has USB power delivery. Enter the Anchor Power Core 26800. Its big capacity is right in its name, its metal casing makes it durable, and it is USB PD compliant. Those are the pros. The cons? Well, that metal casing also makes it heavy, and you need to use a PD charger to top it back up, otherwise it takes forever. Anchor sent me the PowerPort Plus 5 for the purpose, which has also been my travel charger for a few months now. Keep in mind that the MacBook is a huge battery drain compared to a phone, so you're only going to gain something like a half a percent per minute, but at least it's going in the right direction. And of course, you can use the pack to recharge phones or tablets as well. By the way, this isn't a paid Anchor sponsorship or anything, they just happen to be a brand I've been using for a long time. If you're looking for an alternative, I've also had good luck with RAV Power products. And finally, there's the issue of the new butterfly keyboard. 
After about three months, I finally got used to it, but if you long for the tactility of keys that actually, you know, move, there's a glut of Bluetooth keyboards out there to choose from. I covered these two a long time ago on the Instagram channel. They're called the Quirky Writer and the Low Free. And my favorite mouse is still Microsoft's ArcTouch design, which got a refresh last year. The new thing I'm showing off here is this uh, Lazy Susan kind of thing. Actually, it's called the M Stand by Rain Design, and its whole purpose is to raise your laptop up high so you don't get that crick in your neck while you work on it. If you're like I was, trying to muddle through with a laptop stand made of stacked shoeboxes so your computer clears your microphone, the M Stand is well worth a look. Especially now that the price is down to 40 bucks on Amazon. Oh, and Rain Design makes smartphone stands too. One last time, all these products are linked in the description below, folks. And if you find a better deal on similar stuff elsewhere, drop a line in the comments. And before you get out of here, please also check out Mr. Mobile's sponsor. This video is brought to you by Squarespace. I bet you didn't know it, but we at Mobile Nations have a few sites built on Squarespace. They're fresh, they're flexible, and if anything ever goes wrong, we get 24-7, 365 customer support. You can build one too, whether you're an artist, a musician, a designer, anything. Click on through to squarespace.com slash mrmobile for 10% off your first purchase. And hey, if there's something missing from my site that you'd like to see added, let me know in the comments and we'll see what we can do. Meantime, get your own site started at the link in the description, squarespace.com slash mrmobile. Well, it's time for me to get back to trying to figure out this touch bar, folks. Until next time, thanks for watching. Please subscribe and stay mobile, my friends.